Okay, so we got favorable matchmaking, quite favorable. We got four German ships to pick from, so let's go find out whether or not uh, that mission progression will register. Now, I, I talked to Sub Octavian about the whole uh, AP bombs not registering for missions. Um, it wasn't campaign missions, but it was still missions in general. And they said, "All right, thanks for telling us. We'll uh, we'll get around to fixing it." But it's like, don't expect it before seven seven or something like that. Seven six if you're lucky. Seven seven is more likely. I think it was U.S. ships. Okay, so there you go. So. Tell you what, the first set and second set was so easy. The last step is all carrier as well. That's also going to be relatively easy. The fourth step we can do because it's 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 sync Japanese or German ships. Also very easy. At least one star a game. That's not a problem. But this, this is brutal, man. This is going to be like multiple games to get a single star. Oh, key mapper, yeah, I did. Thanks, I'm back on carrier. There you go. <clears throat> I just want to get rid of the fire so you can't mess with me. I don't think he wants to play though. Nah, he doesn't want to play. He just wants to lure back into friendly A, which is the right thing to do. But it's annoying for me because it just means I have to play around this nonsense. It's going to work quicker than I thought it was, wasn't it? Well, we got our citadels, so now we see whether or not those count. He needs to back off or not be broadside or turn or whatever it takes. I'm gonna use the. He's not even trying to move. Oh, you are so lucky. You got a heal though? Or damage count? No, you're down. Maybe his engine was broken, so I didn't move, but still feels kind of bad on his part. I feel he could have dodged that. With the kid there, you should be able to kill off those planes pretty quickly. The only reason you take a kid is to kill off planes quickly.
I mean, I can do Enterprise, but <laughs> it's not as good as um, Enterprise. Lexington, sorry, I could do Lexington, but Lexington isn't as good as Enterprise for US uh, CV missions. Um, but fi still, 50 Citadels is a ton. Like, I got six with the first dive bomb wave, and now look, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for another target. So it's dependent on matchmaking, giving me targets, and it's dependent on me making to the target and then bombing them. Citadels with CV planes, isn't? It, you're not gonna get 50. It's not like some guy's broadside and you just like slam, 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 slam. And you get like 30 odd Citadels in a game because you get lucky or something. And that's for a single star, man. He's turning, which makes this a little bit harder. You might turn in too much, that might not activate. Maybe this one will and that's about it. Yeah, I got lucky there. I think, honestly, I think just playing the Iowa is the best way to go about it. Uh, play Iowa and, and don't expect anything. Just just play Iowa to level Iowa. And if you get a good game and you take a bunch of damage, you can maybe eke out like a Dreadnought, be top three, and that's five stars. Boom. In one game, you get five stars. USCV, heroic achievement. Oh, wait, it's not five stars. It's, it's, only, it's only two. Um, and if you build up multiple Dreadnoughts, then you get a bonus three later. So... Yeah, it's, it's still awkward, but at, at the very least, I could get Iowa out of stock um, ship set up. Anyway, on the subject of um, Midway uh, Tier 10 modules, which kind of left field here with the intro, I was thinking, why make it so that increases the health and reduces the speed? Would it not be interesting if you kept... Because a lot of modules, for example, are just clean upgrades. They're like they're what the existing is, but better. So take the Japanese one, for example. You have an you have an upgrade that gives you five percent plane speed, but now you get five percent plane speed and fifteen percent fighter health. So compared to the old module, it is a clean upgrade. It's it is it is better. Yes, you you lose some elements because you don't get the, the bomber health, but that's a, a different module, right? So for modular module one is better. For the midway, there isn't like one is better now. What if you kept the 15% bomber health that the midway gets, right, but instead of manipulating, instead of extra health and then reducing the speed, what happens if you just kept your standard 15% health and plane loading time was up 10%? Because that's one of the biggest problems American CVs suffer from is the plane wave size is so large that the Japanese gets the advantage because they have few, more waves that are smaller, so they get more planes. In, they get the same twelve planes in the air faster than it takes to get, like, say, the the, the American twelve planes because uh, more waves, smaller size. So how cool would it be if you had a plane loading time by like ten percent or something, uh, just just to make the, the the prep time that a little bit faster. And that would be a tangible upgrade, and you wouldn't have to mess with the speeds. Because at the moment, it's garbage. Oh. 
Well, we got 13 AP bombs. Does it count? Let's find out. It does. Okay, well the, the interesting thing about this is I can do that, I can I can do that with the battleship. So I can actually shift over to the BB and I can swap that over, yeah okay, okay, okay. So we can actually ditch the credits and we can we can go back to Iowa. We can still get BB AP shots. Um, so... This is going to happen, right? Commander XP is going to happen, so we don't care about that. That's just going to naturally IQ. Um, Citadel hits. I can do that CV, uh, and I can, and it has to be American, which is why it's the APs um, are terrible on the American carriers at nine and ten because you're not in a meta where you can use it in ranked and Citadel like cruisers. So it's much better to use it at tier eight, and, and Enterprise is significantly better at tier eight than uh, Lexington is. So that's fine. We can use the Enterprise, and getting Citadels is okay. Uh, but we can also do citadels with the battleship. So if we ditch the credits, um, we could totally pick that top three and gain a heroic achievement. Well, that's that's basically just play Iowa, get a devastating. Is devastating strike a heroic? No. Well, anyway, dreadnought that type of stuff. And that would be two stars, and you could repeat that. Because the credits, 4 million credits, that's like 10 games of what we just did to get that for one star. It's just not worth the effort. Like in one game, I can get what would probably take me 20 games here. Assuming I got 400k a game, right? So, yeah. I'll try Iowa again. Let me tell them. Can you do the mission in co-op? No, it's not going to be that simple. They're not going to let you do that. It has to be in competitive, meaning random battles. Use Missouri to get the credits? I know that, but... um. Okay, the Missouri could get a star every... F right, okay, so here's, here's the thing, right? If you did the credits one, okay then you could get the captain experience and you could get credits and you could get like a million credits a game. I could put on all the credit signals on and then hey presto, boom, I can, I can get a ton. Uh, but A, I'm not leveling up the Iowa, right? So it's alright, okay, you're doing the missions, you're not doing Iowa, okay. But at the same time, that's four games with four games with a million credits for one star. Four games for one star. Whereas I can have four attempts to be top three and gain a heroic achievement, and I can get two stars. So I've already done more. So it's like eight games. In eight games, I can basically do the same in one with this. And if I get lucky and I do it in two games, it's faster. So I'm going to do this with the Iowa instead and just see how that goes. But I agree entirely that Missouri could do credits. And if it turns out that it's just too slow or it's too random or I just suck at playing BB, yeah, then yeah, I'll do that. Anyway. Right, I'm gonna head to the bathroom while we do this. I'll be right back. Oh my god, my legs! Oh!